good morning everyone and welcome back to craft eccentricity and i hope everyone's going to have an awesome day today right ks craft once again and it's the planner pocket this is the one with the slits so i hope that's fitting in this is an a5 size and comes with lots of bits that i've already cut apart now you get a pocket layer which you cut in different paper and you lay on top of each of these. Now I am going to measure it in a second and uh, tell you something else. You get a couple of pairs of glasses, sunglasses, and there you get um, a stripe frame that goes with a starry frame. So you can do a 4th of July pocket if you want to. I think I'm just going to use the regular sunglasses for today and you also get a set of three really sweet flowers and you get some hearts and you get extra slits so that you know if you want to do your own tags and put slits in or you can add extra slits into those pockets so if you look at the die there all you've got is the cut line and then you've got the stitch edge which will just emboss in now, I'm sticking with a summer theme because, you know, it's actually summer at the moment and it doesn't last very long. And I'm using basic grey from Snap Click Supply and I'm using their South Pacific pack. So I've printed off a, I'm going to turn them that way around, um, a map of the world. I've also printed some hotel type uh, label ephemera. Well, I'm going to use it as ephemera. It's actually a sheet, but I'm going to cut little labels out if I want to. I've got a blue sheet, which is going to be the A6 back. And I'm going to measure that in a second. And I've also printed off some labels from that pack that I've just resized so I'm going to have to fussy cut those and from another sheet of paper because I only wanted the one um, I've already printed and fussy cut a pineapple right now I need to measure that pocket and let you know something before I run away and do die cutting and fussy cutting and that is if you look at that this edge will fold in and this edge here will fold up so they fold in and that folds up so if you look at your emboss lines here and you get your ruler well maybe you don't need to get your ruler because i'm doing it for you and i'm going to go in there and measure so i need to cut a sheet of cardstock that is four and a half and then I'm going to my cut lines again. And then to the emboss line by six and a quarter. So I need to cut a sheet of paper four and a half by six and a quarter. And I'm going to be doing that in the blue. Right, I'm going to run away, do some fussy cutting, some die cutting, and I'll be straight back. Right, so I've been off and I've done my die cutting, which is the pieces that I wanted from this. And I've done the top layers, and I've done the base layer, and I'll be able to show you now what I was measuring uh, previously. So I'm just moving that out of the way. And this was the four and a half by six and a quarter that I was telling you about. So I've cut that in the blue. And then I used a um, Dollar Tree Manila folder. You used to get 10 for a dollar. Now you get eight for a dollar 25, but they're still very good because it's really good um, quality Manila paper. And if you like to do Manila tags, then um, it's absolutely perfect for that. So right, I've got fluff on everything, I always do. And the reason for that is, is now you've got a back for your pocket. So if I turn that upside down and position it, you can see that it fits within that region where the bottom and the sides will fold in. So I need to put sticky tape on to fasten that. And then I've cut three of the um, 
yeah the pattern pieces that lay on top so i made sure to get the word map of the world there and I've also got this one, I'm trying to decide where I want it. So I could have the South Ocean down there, and then I could have that one up there if I wanted to. So those are my pieces of map that will fit onto those panels. And I also cut out the glasses, and I didn't separate them, which means I got two. So first of all, I cut in black, and then I cut in pattern paper. So picking these up so right, I haven't got my rubber mat down underneath my scrap of paper today so I've got lenses that I can put in there that are of patterned paper which I quite like so I think I'm just going to glue them up and have two pairs of glasses and then I've got the uh, black lenses that can go into the pattern and there is also a little hole I'll show you that so if you cut these a couple of times or cut them in foam, you can turn those into a charm or you can um, hook them onto a paper clip and you can make a sunglass paper clip to go there. But I'm just going to make them up to show you. And then for my ephemera, um, I cut these pieces which will go inside of the pockets and these come with the printed paper packs. Already punched a hole in the one that's a tag and then I've got a little Costa Rica label, a little photomatic, and I am going to edge all these with black ink. And then, of course, that lovely pineapple, and I also cut the palm tree. But I also want to edge these in black too. So using black soot and its distress oxide, I just want to go down the edge. And I'll do one so that you can just see the difference of uh, what putting a bit of black ink around the edge makes. Right, I think I've done that. So we are going for a slightly distressed look. And if I put that down with the others, you can see how it just makes it pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to take my blendy tool and um, edge everything and I'll be right back. Right, so I've inked everything up um, and popped it over here for a minute and I've applied adhesive tape, my double sided adhesive tape. This is from Alina Craft and uh, it's great tape and it's the size of a frisbee so you're not going to run out anytime soon which uh, is always fine by me and I've just put it to the edges there and all I need to do is take my back piece there, move these out of the way, and uh, obviously find the end so I can peel it off. And if my fingernails weren't bad enough, I did go and cut them off last night. <laughs> but it's not nice when you're... Because uh, I like to do my gardening with my bare hands. I know a lot of people wear gardening gloves, but I just like to feel what I'm doing. So having long nails, you know, you end up with dirty nails. So it's better to have them short and then just scratch them down a bar of soap so that they don't fill up with mud. Right, so I've got that there. I hope that you can see it. I've peeled it all off and I'm going to position this within that region there, which is where the stitch line is. Now, I hope that you can see that. We've got a stitch line all the way around the sides so I'm going to start at the base and place it at the stitch line because I'm pretty sure that that is where it's going to be straight and then I'm going to lay it down right I hope you can see that now that isn't stuck down because my tape is on the edge so what I need to do now <laughs> not having any fingernails I will start at the bottom <laughs> she says bravely and fold that up right if I turn it around sideways you should be able to see it so I've stuck that bit down now I need to bring my other sides up I'm just rolling them to the edge of my paper there it's not a complicated thing to do but I think it's just one of those things, it's nice to see the process. 
I'm going to hold that down flat and bring that one across. And as I said, my paper is scooting around today on my glass mat because I was using my uh, my large silicon mat in the kitchen and I forgot to bring it back. Right, so that is our pocket. And as you can see, it's kind of, it's puffed forward a little bit, which is quite nice because it means you can stuff it full of all sorts of stuff and now uh, the next thing is we need to glue these on and i did fill my glue bottle up yesterday so let's see if it's going to work yes it is and the other two of these are going to be glued exactly the same so i'm just going to pop this one on and then run off just to save on video time and um, do the others so basically all you want is a nice straight and even border all the way around which I haven't achieved there so I'm just going to slide it up while I'm looking at it right I think that is it and I'm just going to run off and do the other two right so the pockets are all done now and the um, the layers are on so the next thing is your sunglasses. So I've got two pairs of these that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this one and then go off and just do the other one. Now it's only the lens area that you need to do. So we're just going around the, um, the eyeglass apertures. Just a little bit of glue. There, just around the edges. And then we're going to pick the lenses up and pop those in. And the trick is not to be hanging off the edges of anything. So I'm going to get them on quickly and then maneuver them around. Put that one down, flip it over and have a look. I think that's it. Right, so those are the little glasses and I'm just going to let those dry and I'll be right back. Right, so that's all done and um, if you wanted to turn this into an A5 card you can. You can pop an easel on the back or you can do um, exactly what I showed you with the boat cards that we did and just score a line part way down your A5 so that it can stand up and it can be a great way of sending little photographs and pieces of ephemera but there are the glasses and there's the other one which I think is really sweet really like that and we've got our pineapple I like that pineapple so you can just start putting all your stuff in I put a little piece of uh, ball chain into that tag which is really cute and that was just you know chopped down a little bit so you can start to see how it comes together I've got a little piece of a ticket. I've got a Costa Rica there. Now, if I wanted to, I could just staple, you know, just roughly staple them together. So if I move those out of the way just for a minute, we can tuck some, some more stuff in. Start to get a nice, a nice full feeling to the thing. And if I move that there, this is how I do it. And then... I've got this which can slide right down inside you can see here I apologize if my camera just went blurred so that we've got that and then I'm going to pop my palm tree up there why not I've got another little piece of ephemera and I've got my little photomatic I mean you could just staple that right on there if that's what you wanted to do but just super easy and really really quick there you go all the little bits and your journal pocket and I apologize for this see I've got my glass mat Whee! I've got to slide that over one of these days I may invest in a piece that's like 24 inches or something yeah well anyway that is what I got for you today now tomorrow is Friday and as I said last week I'm going to start making Fridays my day where I get to show you 
um, some of the dyes that I've purchased cut out and, you know, a little bit of colouring or putting together or something. So that is what I'm going to be up with tomorrow. So I thank you so much for watching. Do have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.